hello everyone this is Mehdi and you are welcome to a new video in this video we will learn how to customize the WooCommerce default checkout page with Elementor free plugin but before jump into the main tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get more videos on wordpress ok let's check which we are going to build in this tutorial this is a e-commerce website which i built only for tutorial purpose ok so let's let's try uh, to purchase a product so click here okay then add to card then view card process to, to check out okay this is the WooCommerce checkout page you can see it very fast it shows billing details then the ship to a different address then other information so i think it shows very weird and lots of unnecessary fields are showing here so we want to customize this default checkout page with Elementor free plugin and we do not write a single line of code okay so we will do it with the Elementor free plugin so very fast we have to install a plugin so go to the admin dashboard and hover over on plugins click on add plugin search here shop builder this is the plugin which we are going to use in this tutorial shop builder elementor woocommerce builder add-on which is built by the radius team it's a very amazing woocommerce page builder you can use it so click install now then activate after activating the plugin maybe you will be redirect in this page this is the admin dashboard and you can see in left shop builder is added in left side menu if you hover over on it then you can see it shows some page like template builder settings get help themes and apps okay so our goal is we want to customize this woocommerce default checkout page okay so we can make a complete new checkout page so again go to the admin dashboard and hover over on shop builder click on templates builder then this is the old checkout page now we can delete it okay now woocommerce page builder just add a new page and template name you have to give a template name here so i want to give my checkout page okay my checkout page then you have to select template type so we want to customize the checkout page that's why we have to select from here checkout template type checkout then the select editor type elementor yes we want to edit with elementor then set as act active template yes then you can see blank template you can make a checkout page from here from the various class and if you want then you can import this pre-built template you can see it shows two template which one is free and another is pro so we can import the free template so click on import please wait a few mo moments maybe it will take some time okay the template is imported now we can edit with elementor from the right side bottom Okay, this is the edit mode template okay let's check the default template again so refresh this page okay you can see after importing the default template the shipping form is removed okay so if you want then you can add it again so again go to the template then just click here this is the plus icon at element then you can see shop builder checkout then the shipping form so if you want then you can add shipping form here like give here then publish it then again repeat the page okay you can see it shows the shipping address the shipping form okay now again if you want to remove then just go to the template and just remove from here so i want to remove from here so delete it then the publish 
again refresh the page you can see the shipping form is removed now again we want to remove this field as well order notes this is the optional field but we want to remove it then again go to the editor this is the template and select it and remove it delete it okay then publish it again refresh the page okay you can see the node field is removed now again we want to remove like this post code and town city okay company name and last name okay let's check how can we do it so, so this is the field this is the template and now we can close this tab then again go to the admin dashboard then again hover over on shop builder click on settings then it shows three tabs global settings elementor widget and module we have to select global settings click this tab then the general and checkout we have to ensure the checkout page this tab is selected so click here then they can see billing form settings and shipping form settings already we have removed the shipping form so we do not work on this area okay now we we have to work for the billing form settings so click on this gear icon okay customize billing form field you have to enable it click and select it then you can see first name show first name and record field if you can you can see yes first name we want first name so it's give like this then again scroll down then last name and its field record we want to show last name but we don't uh, give it a record so just unselect this record field then scroll down company name this is the company name and we want to completely remove it so just deselect company name then again country yes we want to show country name then state address we want to remove state address so scroll down and remove and un unselect it then the town city is we want to show the town city again postcode we want to remove postcode just scroll down then this is the postcode and zip code okay then phone number yes we want to show phone number and email uh, if you want then you can keep it or uh, actually i want to remove it so deselect the email then save changes okay now refresh this checkout page okay you can see now it looks very simple okay and easily a user or client can be fill up this form and can be order okay so in this way if you want then you can add more content here just again go to the dashboard and go to the template then edit with elementor okay if you want any if you want to add anything here just click here and you can add here like i want to show only for test purpose like image then publish it then refresh the page yes you can see it shows so in this way you can add any field here okay and another thing is if you want to keep the shipping form but if you want to remove some field then you can do it so again just drag and drop the shipping form here okay then publish it refresh the page okay you can see this is the shipping form but we like uh, i want to keep the shipping form but i want to remove some field so again go to the settings area shop builder settings and global settings then you have to click here shipping from settings okay in same way you can like deselect the form here the name company name okay so country i address i want to here address i want to keep address here uh, deselect it and town city okay so state i don't to keep state so deselect it and save changes again refresh the page okay you can see the shipping form is showing but some field are removed okay so you can do it so again 
I want to actually remove this form completely so I can delete it and publish it refresh the page yes now I want to keep simple this checkout page thanks uh, for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you face any problem on this checkout page just comment me I will reply as soon as possible